Hello, my dearly beloved fellow Neffers. So while the world was turning to chaos, and with a new year upon us, I kind of wanted to review where the channel has gone over the last year and where I plan on taking it. Okay, so the first thing that I was wanted to bring up was kind of the state of where YouTube and those other kind of static video platforms went. So kind of starting around the time that the lockdowns and everything started, I started doing regular uploads. I was kind of doing clips before that, but the content was kind of more one directional at that point. It was, it was a direction that I wanted to take it. But there were some things that just weren't quite doing as well. There were other things that came up over time that did a little bit better than others. So I watched how that rise and fall happened over it. Let's see, 2020. So we can see like the spike in views. Let's see. Yeah, this is August time frame. But you kind of had, there were some high points, and I kind of noted that, and I've tried to kind of pick up on that, but it did kind of level out here. So the YouTube has picked up slightly. It's dropped more than I'd like it to over the last little bit, but I'm still pretty happy with the growth that we can see from where it was the start of the year versus to where it is now. Um... Along with that, I've been mirroring most things over to the bit shoot for a while. It doesn't have the analytics, so I can't quite look at it, but there were some things that picked up, and then other things that didn't quite pick up as much. There are some things on the bit shoot that aren't over on YouTube that are basically I haven't mirrored over anywhere else. So there is that. And what was it? August time frame it. Let's see, yeah, August time frame and September, there was a lot going on in that time frame. So yeah, it kind of makes sense. But YouTube growth has gone up. I've also been live streaming to there, so that kind of helps somewhat with that over the last little bit. And then we can just roll through everything real quick. I know, I'm so transparent with all this. Okay, so on top of the bit shoot and everything else, I was, I have mirrored some things over to library. So this is through the Odyssey front end. But I've been utilizing that a bit more regularly. Um, I did have some issues otherwise, but I will be uploading more to there. I'm over the next little bit again and mirroring more across that again because I, w I was putting some of the library coin into it and I guess I didn't really need to do that, but you can follow that as well for that. And then one thing that I did do over the summer um, was start up the P a peer tube instance and I mirrored, took time to mirror everything across over to it. And added Federation and everything to it with a few other instances. And I've been putting all the videos up there. And I... And I've seen... It hasn't taken off like YouTube or BitChute. Like you can see like all the zero views across the board pretty much for the most part. Except for if I go look at... A couple of them. So you can see like... A couple of them have like more than one view for the most part but that's one thing that I've been working with PeerTube does make it easy because I can just add a YouTube link and send it over that way so that's kind of the general state with that one um, I want the PeerTube to kind of pick up a bit more because 
I do plan on doing exclusive stuff on the peer tube with some other things coming down the road as well, but I do plan on incorporating it more into the other things as well. So one other thing that did happen that I did roll out for like, what was it? I did do, well, it's at this point more of a pilot, but the podcast and... I know I've only done one episode. I'm still kind of working out how I want to work it. Um, I've kind of debated on doing solo episodes where I'm just blabbing into the mic and everything. So I'll kind of work that out still. And then nailing down a schedule for like uploads has been interesting with that one. Um, I'm still working around how often I want to do it. But, and then nailing down, arranging other people to come on is something that I need to work harder on. But with the schedule and getting guests on, I think once I work out the schedule I want, it'll be a lot easier to arrange that kind of a thing. So that's kind of something that I'm still planning on, working on doing. So... Down the road, that should be a little bit more frequent. And then, as you may have noticed, where I was when I started doing the regular uploads to where I am now, I have changed up the thumbnails a bit, been working harder on that. I get more I want. Well, as many as you can show me. So yeah, it was kind of one-sided towards more the commentary side at first. There, there were some other stuff kind of mixed in. And I've kind of been working in the how-tos and some of the other gaming-oriented content into a bit more um, lately. So you can see some of the commentary stuff. There was some of the car recordings that I was doing that are really just clickbaity for the most part. As you can see from the 70 views and like the nothing and the 184 views. I think I can keep up on that. I think a lot easier now with some of my schedule being brought back to me. But... That's still kind of up in the air with some of the things that I'm arranging right now with the job applications and stuff. I've kind of tried, been working on diversifying things, so it's not just one boring thing, but it kind of has a mix of everything because I don't want the channel to just be um, one flat thing. I know it's like a lot of people do their one thing, but the channel in a sense represents who I am more than just the one thing. So, I mean, I know people have other channels. The PeerTube does make it easier because it has the multiple channels that I can categorize things into. So if you want to keep up with one thing, you can get the RSS feed or subscribe to an individual one rather than getting all the other fluff as well. So that's one thing there. But I'm working on doing that so that it's not just one thing so you've got a lot of other things coming in as well so hopefully that makes it a little bit more bearable um but yeah so with again with the peer tube utilizing that i'm mirroring everything across so you can you take advantage of the rss feeds get like create an account on the instance and subscribe to individual things. I know it kind of sucks to have another site and login, but like I said, the RSS feeds also mean that you can put it into some feeder plugin in your browser or whatever and just do it that way as well. Or you can subscribe via Mastodon like it says here or any other um, federated instance like Pleroma. So the next thing on the list is kind of the live streaming. The thing that I've been doing kind of the 
for the longer period. Um, there has been some growth that I've noted over 2020. I have gained a few more followers. Um, I have changed things and edited things on the dashboard here on Twitch so that you can see that and check it out. So one thing of note here with the analytics is you'll know what was sometime, yeah, around the, what was it? Yeah, in June-ish, July-ish time frame. It was kind of around the time that I started picking tomatoes a little bit before that, where I kind of shifted my streaming schedule so that it wasn't four days a week, it was down to three days a week. And so that was kind of took some of the relief off me, but allowed also allowed me a little bit more time to work on the regular video uploads. So I may switch things back around to where it's like the old four day thing. Um, but that's still kind of up in the air. But you can kind of, this is the daily one for like the whole year of 2020. Um, the average viewers. So you can see there's kind of that peak rise here and then it's kind of like steady here and then kind of goes down. So if we look at the weekly instead, you can see that we start off pretty well. And we hit, we're, we're pretty much above two through the springtime, kind of when the lockdowns really started happening. And then we kind of start to hit into summer. It, it kind of drops off. There are a couple here and there where it rises up. And then once we hit September, that's kind of where the tomato picking kind of stopped. And I dedicated more stuff. This bike here is due to the Crystal Clear stream. More than I would bet. And it kind of picked up after that. So you can see, but we kind of stick around for... A little bit there it's around 1.5 and then it kind of suffers here into November and December because I was working UPS and there were some things that I was working around so some of these numbers reflect like single day or two day a week streams and then you see one where I did miss a week completely um, I've been picking that back up. You can kind of see how into the start of the end of the year, start of the year, we have less than one here. But we did see like substantial growth. You can see like the revenue from the year. It wasn't quite a hundred that Twitch likes. But there was a substantial amount that I am great, very grateful for. And some of the people that have regularly stuck around, I'm grateful for that. And I know some have come and gone. And I mean, it's sad to see you go, but I mean, I can understand some restraints holding it back. Yeah, we get the max viewers again over the time period. It kind of, yeah, like when the lockdowns really started, it kind of picked up. But... One thing that I did notice with the particular content was that there were certain things that picked up more than others. So if you've been watching what I've been streaming over the year, um, it's kind of varied from thing to thing. Um, you, Pokemon, when you like stream it straight the whole time and that's all you do, it does get kind of tiring. And for a little bit, I was not only streaming Pokemon, but I was playing it so that I could write articles about various ROM hacks. And so that really wore me down. And so that's kind of why I really took the big break from it. And it did hurt the viewership for a little bit. But as I was playing Morrowind, I did pick up some more otherwise as well. So, and as I've kind of flipped back and forth between the two... I've noticed that those two right now are kind of the more popular ones, along with a few other select um, older titles, which is kind of where I'm sticking that live stream niche in, is those older titles. Uh oh 
There were a couple for Halo that did kind of okay. Otherwise, on the Twitch side. Um, I have been restreaming to YouTube as well as a few other places as well. Um, one of those places I added recently was Trovo.live. It's one of those cheapo Chinese ones, but you know what? We'll stick with it. Analytics, not too great right now. But, I can't complain. <laughs> it does pick up here and there. And Restream does allow me to Restream to it too, so. And that's a plus. Again, subscriptions, that's just what it is over the last year on Twitch. I mean, I barely made the marker for, like, getting a payout after they took their 25 cut. But, and thank you people that made that possible. Oh. DLive, downloading the stats, it's in a CSV file, so it comes out in a spreadsheet. But, I have picked up a few here and there. A good port, what? A couple of those are from, oh... When I showed up on Ghost to Coast from the Ghost on one of his live streams because he didn't have anyone arranged for that point. But it's still coming along. I mean, we're still working on it. Well, I'm still working on it, but yeah. And then Afrika TV, I've been kind of do. I started in the middle of the year. I've kind of been. Working on, it's one that I have to kind of do a little bit of extra work with, but it is picking up a little bit of traction, which, again, I'm grateful for. So, I have looked at the analytics on it here and there, and somewhat it's hard to understand, but it's all in Korean too, so. So yeah, I will continue to do the restream thing, the DLive. And the things like that. Um, one other thing I did notice with Twitch is more often than not, I was getting the higher views on the weekend. There were a couple times where it like picked up on Mondays, but for the most part, it's been kind of the weekends that are kind of the bigger ones. And then again, with the UPS hiatus over November and December, it dropped off, and so it kind of feels like right now I'm starting all over. But I've been trying to maintain the uploads and somewhat make up for the days that I miss with uploads so that I can try and keep some of that traction. So that's kind of the damage control I was working on over that time period. Um, the plan for the live streams down the road is going to kind of continue what I've been working on doing. I'm still kind of experimenting a couple things, but I think there are some other things that I could learn to do. Um, there are some tools that I may be switching out. I did find something that, a live stream solution that would possibly allow me to re replace restream and right now it does in the state it's in after being two months like not commit to an updated um it does have twitch mirroring built in <coughs> and it does have its own web front end for live streaming and it does support like doing some of the other chat unification stuff that I'm looking for in an alternate service. And this one is self-hosted, which means that I could, if I can figure it out, um, add the other stuff in. So that I can hook those all together and I can have the th everything that I want rather than waiting on Restream to do their thing or catch up with what what's going on in the hype and all. So I would be less reliant on that. I did bring it up to someone else that is working on an alternative that is self-hosted as well. So still kind of working that around that maybe later on down the road. 
so that means that peer tube stuff may be like exclusively peer tube for the bit and with the state that 3.0 is in of peer tube it doesn't have a chat built in so and i don't think there are plans for that but it looks like there might be so down the road once PeerTube drops that, I may be using Discord as a chat option. A Discord channel or an IRC, it depends. So, I'm looking forward to live streaming being added to PeerTube. If we go to... So if we look at their recent commits here, um, the docs were just updated. Updated the change log. So it reflects a 3.0.0 change along with it all. And this is the update that has live streaming with it. It's got put in, our, in release candidate in December. There are a few instances that are on it and testing it. But other than that, um, with these recent changes to their docs and everything, it looks like we may be really close to having that peer tube live stream option, which I may end up doing, which I'll probably end up doing, oh, development streams too for the time being, which means there will be a few people, but I do kind of want to expand out so that more people know about what's going on with that development as well. And then for the website, I did start that up over the last year, well, within the last year, and really get things rolling. I was using GitHub Pages as a host option for a little bit, but I've kind of, that one's deprecated per se. For now, I did like copy everything over and just start making edits and tweaks so that it turned into what it looks like now. Right now, it's all desktop oriented. I do plan on doing the mobile stuff but that's not like super high on the list i do have to update a couple other things with it so getting the hosting i did have to migrate i did migrate it over to a better service otherwise later on down the road after a couple months um with it i did also add i did do the pleroma instance so Again, it's like a Twitter clone, microblogging, that kind of thing. It has a really awesome character limit. So if you haven't joined it, you can. It's an option. If you're used to TweetDeck, they've got a thing for you. So yeah, it's got the whole TweetDeck thing for the front end if you really want it. But yeah, I've worked on that. It is very customizable, which is really nice. Um, it is federated with a few other instances otherwise as well. And I am still working on a couple other things with it. Figured out how to do the custom emoji thing with it, so that's cool. Um, as I mentioned before, there's the PeerTube instance that I put together. Again, it's federated with a few other instances otherwise as well. And it's really, really cool. Um, again, live streaming's coming to it. This was really interesting to do. I learned a lot from put setting all these up. And it made what I did later on with search a lot easier as well so you can add my search instance to your def as your default search engine or as a search engine option i'm still kind of working on some of the default stuff it is kind of picky with some things so i can't promise that it'll work right away i've had to refresh to get results a couple times but is to be expected somewhat with a new set up but this is a lot that's gone on that i 
didn't quite see happening that I just kind of like up and did out of nowhere that I'm actually really happy that I did. So down the road, I'm still going to work on updating things. So with the site, I did add the blog in. So it is themed a little bit more cohesively than it was before. And that kind of thing. There are other things that I'll work on with it. Um, as I add more stuff, the applicable RSS feeds will be added on for that down at the bottom. And I do have a current um, one working on where I do have the search bar connected to the search instance in the footer of the web page. So you can search stuff from there if you ever go there and all. So that should be working. I just have to theme everything up and make it look fancy. Um, the Pleroma, I'll still continue to work on stuff with that. Um, I'm still kind of debating on things to do with that. The PeerTube, I've kind of brought it up before. I do want to offer um, hosting as a perk for Subscribestar stuff and all. And that will include various other things that I'll go over here in a second. But I'm still working out kind of like the cost to space ratio. I think now looking at it, if I do a dollar per two gigabytes, that might be a bit better, especially with the other things that I plan on wrapping in. It should make it a bit easier, but also not too much that I have to put all the hosting or all the money into the hosting cost if that makes sense i don't want it to be too much but i want to provide extra value off to the side that it makes it worth it for that service so one of the things that i've mentioned before is i want to do email in connection with that so if you want to support me you have the option of having so much space on the PeerTube instance, being able to have an email set up for it. There are some things with the authentication that makes emails that I send get caught in various spam filters that I'm still got to work out otherwise. Some things tell me it's like, oh, it's fine, everything. And it's like Gmail's like, oh, spam, 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 spam. Um, I do want to add Mumble to the server as well, but... I want to upgrade the VPS before I do that so that I'm not like ham fisting it and giving it too much that it can't stand and that um, the VPS provider will look at me funny for. So I've kind of been looking at resource like requirements for these various things before I add it in. And I don't want to add too much before. I upgrade. I want to be able to upgrade and then add that little bit onto it. Um, I am also looking at adding Matrix, which might be a stand in. Ra so rather than using Mumble, I could possibly use Matrix instead, but Matrix is more oriented towards text chat and that thing. So you'd be able to access text chat and that not from an instance of it so that. Yeah, we can exclusively chat that way using it. The other thing I want to look at doing is adding a git t instance, which is basically like GitHub, but self-hosted. It has the issue tracking and everything else. Um, I'm still debating on how I want to work those other things out, but those are some of the plans that I have down the road. Um, the blog I plan on updating a bit more regularly. And like I said, the RSS feed is there so that you can get it in your podcast or whatever apps that accept RSS feeds. So like AntennaPod is one, and I can sit there and read a whole blog post inside of it without going to a separate web page or anything. So the RSS feed is there. This video will probably get embedded into it from the oh, PeerTube instance. And then one other, th a couple other things that I was kind of looking at were um, a SoundCloud clone. I can't remember the name of it. It's basically a federated SoundCloud that I would look at adding on as well. 
this is a lot to like paste into the processing power for it, but it would allow me to upload audio only stuff so that it would be cheaper for people on lower bandwidth to stream, or if you're in the car and want to listen that way, then that's an option too. I believe it does support RSS feeds, so you can get it that way. And it would also make it easier on me rather than having to figure out how to do the podcast stuff with an RSS feed manually otherwise. And then the other one was sort of an Instagram clone. It's called Pixel Fed. Um, again, it's a federated Instagram, basically. But it would be pretty low ball to start off with. I'm still debating on how I would want to work that out. So that's a lot if you like the plans that I have. Again, I won't hesitate to accept your money. I do have this handy donation page now that you can check out how you various ways you can support the th stuff that I do. Whether you just want to hand me money or you want to buy a service or something otherwise that will allow you to get something in return but also support me. You can <clears throat> buy the merch. Just buy the merch. You know, we got all the cool stuff. You know, all the good, good stuff. Look at it. You know you want to. Buy it. See, even stickers, but... You can check that out. I'm going to try and update it. There are some things that I might have to remove otherwise. Um, like the brave one, which is sad, but I do have this connected to brave, so you can still send me back that way. And like I said, I'll continue working on the website and add the other, fill the other stuff in so that it's nothing to worry about. Um, but yeah. Join the Discord, scream suggestions at me. Um, I do have a Matrix community bridged, mat various Matrix rooms and a Matrix community bridged to the Discord and everything else. There's a lot that I've got and a lot that's being underutilized. And there's a lot that I want to do, but I don't have the resources or money for. Well, time and or money for. These are the links that you can find me at various places and my support links. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't pull this up, but th this is kind of a shorter comprehensive list that you can look at. Anyway, thanks for watching.